Hello, it is me, Greg Bossen, speaking to you from QuickBooks Made Easy, and welcome to QuickBooks Made Easy's Quick Tip for April of 2014. Here at QuickBooks, we strive to make life easy for you in QuickBooks, and we're going to do that yet again this month with our little quick tip. Okay. Now, uh, if you have not signed up for our little newsletter and you just kind of found this video on YouTube, then sign up for the newsletter. We'll, we'll send you the little quick tip. It's free. Once a month, you'll get a little email so you won't have to go searching YouTube for these free little videos on little tips to make life easier for yourself in QuickBooks. All right. So uh, you just go to QuickBooksMadeEasy.com to do that. All right. So this tip uh, is on importing customers and vendors into QuickBooks. Let me give you a little context. If you've been using QuickBooks for a while, certainly if you're brand new, but if you've been using QuickBooks for a while, you may or may not be using the customer or vendor list. Most people use the vendor list because that's who you pay your bills to, but a lot of people don't initially use the customer list. Um, uh, they'll enter transactions, but they won't put the name of the customers. And then they say, you know what, I'm going to start invoicing out of QuickBooks. I'm really going to start more fully using QuickBooks. want to use the customer list more. So to get to your customer list, by the way, uh, you click on customers right here. Pretty simple. Uh, or you can go up in the menu bar, click customers, and click customer center. Center pops up there. It works the same way for the vendors. Vendors. Here's a list of your vendors. Or you can go up to the Vendor Center. There it is right there. I won't open that up. Okay, I'm going to open up the Customer Center, though. So I want to talk. The, the tip I'm going to show you works for vendors as well as customers, but I think most people are going to use it more for customers than vendors. So I already have some names in here, but you might not have any names in here. You might be new to QuickBooks, or maybe you've been using it for a while, and now you want to import. Uh, for whatever reason, you want to get a bunch of names in here. Well, manually... One at a time, you could go up here to New Customer, click New Customer, and type in the first name, and type in the phone number and the address and all these fields, and click OK, and then type the second one, and the third one, and the fourth one. But more than likely, you already have the list somewhere else in another software package or in Excel or something like that. Well, let me tell you something. If you can get your list of customers or vendors in Excel, you can get it into QuickBooks, boom, all in one swoop. Let me show you how to do that. It's actually a couple of different ways of doing it. One way, it's been around for many years, you go to File, Utilities, Import, and you can actually import lists. It's a little messy because you got to make sure that the column headings make sense um, in terms of what QuickBooks can understand. Not a big deal. I usually export a file and then I open it up and so I know what the column headings need to be and then I put my list in and then import it. But you don't have to do any of that noise uh, because for years now QuickBooks has had this neat cut and paste. I'm going to go over to lists. I'm going to go to Add, Edit, Multiple List Entries. I'm going to keep this up on the screen so make sure you're seeing it. This is the go-to place if you want to add customers or vendors to your QuickBooks list en masse. Okay? I'm going to click on it. Now, it's going to default and show me the customer list, but I can click over here and make it the vendor list if I want to. Okay? I'm going to go back to customers. And it's the same list that you see here. I think it's the same list. Okay. But here, this is the list itself. This is the list represented as an Excel spreadsheet. And you can change things en masse. You can edit things en masse. Uh, <clears throat> I'm going to add. Now, you can add names to the list just by going down here to the bottom and starting to type or whatever. But you can also paste from Excel. All right. So I just happen to have an Excel sheet opened up. All right. So I can cut and paste. Now before you cut and paste, well let me actually I'll go ahead and just do it this way. I'll go ahead and copy it. So you got to copy the list and I only have three names here. You could have 10,000. I'm going to push control and the C button and that makes a copy of it. Then I'm going to go back into the list, go down here to the bottom. I'm going to right click with my mouse and click paste and it puts all three of them in there all at once. Now they're not really saved until I click save changes. But so that's how you can do it. It's pretty easy. But one more little thing I want to throw in before we finish. Uh, name. This column is supposed to have the name. This column is supposed to say Mr. or Miss and it, 
that's not what I imported. This is supposed to say first name and I imported phone numbers. So that really doesn't make any sense. So that's not what we want to do. What we really wanted, let me go back into here, list, edit multiple names. We wanted to import kind of in a different order here. We didn't we wanted we didn't want to import Mr. or Miss at all, you know. We wanted phone number somewhere and it's not here. So one thing you could do is you could make sure that before you import that your column order is is the same here as it is over here. But additionally what you can do, this is really easier, you can change the column order here. You can also change which columns appear here by going to the Customize Columns button before you import. So I go to Customize Columns, and then uh, let's see. You're going to see in this window a left side and a right side. The left side, that's all the columns that you can add if you want to, and there's a ton of them. The right side is the columns that are already in there. You see how it has name, Mr. Miss, first name. That's why it says name, Mr. and Miss, first name. So you can change the order if you want to. Here's company name. Say I want that over here because in Excel, this is where I want the company name field to be. That's, that's the comp that this information, I want it to be in the company name field. So I'll go over here. I'll click on company name, and I can see this move up button. I'll move it up to where... I've got name and then company name. I'll click OK. Keep your eyes right there. I click OK. Now the company name is there. So what do we got? Name, company name, phone number. Okay. Now I don't even see phone number on here. I see a fax number. I don't see a phone number. I'm going to go back over to customize. Here's something that says main phone. I click add. Appears down at the bottom. I'll move it up. Move it down now. Click OK. Now it says name, company name, and main phone number. So now I can go over here. I can right click. And there it is. Now how cool is that? I'm going to click Save Changes. And let's remember these names. Tiny Jones. Who's going to forget that name? I'll click it. Three customer records have been, sa have been saved. I click OK. Now I'll go back to my regular list. Here's Tiny Jones right there. Okay, so that was it. That is how to, I called it importing, but it's really just a cut and paste. And it's all about going to lists, add, edit, multiple list entries. Check your version of QuickBooks. If you've got this, which most versions do, even the older years, it's been around for years, it's going to be real easy to get lists into QuickBooks, your customer list and your vendor list. All right, and that's it. I will see you next month.